In this video, we are going to show how to add an assessment using Lumen Ohm. We are at our home screen and we need to go to our course on the left, College Algebra by Lumen Learning. We would like to add an assessment after Module 5 to our course. This assessment will be an exam involving topics from Module 1 through 5. At the top of our screen, we see an Add an Item drop-down menu. We select that drop-down menu and select Add Assessment. A new window appears and we will give this exam the title Exam 1. We can add a summary to this assessment and we will write Module 1 through 5 in the summary section. As we move down this window, we can see how this assessment will be visible. All of these settings can be changed at a later date. We will just set this assessment to be hidden so our students will be unable to view this assessment at this time. The instructor will be able to see this assessment, but it will be hidden from the student's view until the setting is changed. As we continue scrolling down, we see the Core Options tab. Here we can change some settings for our assessment. We can change the display style with the options of one question at a time, all questions at once or in pages, video queued, or live poll. We are going to select the one question at a time option. The next option is the submission type, and because this is a quiz style, we will select that option. The rest of the settings here we will leave default, but there are different ways to customize an assessment. We could change the number of times an assessment can be taken, if there is a penalty for taking the assessment multiple times, and which score to keep. The assessment also has the option to keep the best score, last score, or the average of the student attempts. We can also determine the number of tries on each version of a question a student has, as well as a penalty per try. We can determine if we want the scores to be shown during the assessment, the answers, if and when students can view their work, scores and correct answers in their gradebook, as well as the gradebook category. Under the additional display options, we can determine if we would like a calendar icon shuffle the order of the questions, make the assessment hard to print, will all students have the same version of questions, and if we want to suppress default score result display. The time limit and access control lets us determine if we want to allow the use of a late pass as well as settings for the late pass. We can also set a time limit for the assessment. We also have the option to require a password to gain access to the assessment, as well as if there is a prerequisite for the student to take this assessment. Under the Help and Hints tab, we can choose to allow hints and video slash text buttons when they are available. Since this is an exam, we will deselect these options. Under the Grading and Feedback tab, we can set where we want this grade to count. What is the minimum score to receive credit? If we want to use default feedback text, the tutor access, penalties for questions done while in exemption or late pass, as well as the default outcome. The last tab is for group assessment. This setting is not needed for this assessment, but may be useful for us if we want to create a group assessment in the future. We now will select the Create Assessment button. This brings us to a new window which will allow us to add questions to this assessment. Remember that all assessment settings can be altered or changed later. In this video, we will not show how to add questions to this assessment, but look for our other video showing how to add questions to an assessment. We select the Done button and we have now created our new assessment. Notice that this assessment is at the top of our course. We want to move this assessment, so we select the gear icon and select Move. A new window appears 
and we want this on our main course page after our Module 5. We select that option in the drop-down menu and select the Move button. We can now see that our assessment has been moved to after our Module 5 block. If we select the Student button at the upper right part of the screen, we can see how the student would view this course. Notice that faculty resources and exam one are missing from the student's course because we have made this assessment currently hidden from student. The student view button is a good way to see how the student will view the course. Now let's select the instructor button and we can see how faculty resources and our exam are visible to us. Now you know how to add an assessment using Lumen Ohm.